Hi friends, it's Deborah. I hope everybody is doing well and trying to stay safe and taking all those necessary precautions that we have to deal with during this whole COVID-19 epidemic. Well, today I thought I would um, do a video and I'm really excited about this video because it is actually the first video that I actually did on YouTube, which is my half bath down in the basement is the first video I ever did on YouTube about 18 months ago I think and um, I tell you I looked at that video the other day and thank God for progression because you could barely hear me the picture was a little fuzzy but um, I so I thought I hadn't really redone the entire bathroom in about a year and a half so I thought now was a good time to do it let me say that all of the things that I have of course, I purchased before um, the COVID night before COVID nineteen, so I'm not out shopping anyway. In Virginia, everything is shut down, so you couldn't go out and shop if you wanted to. But all of the stuff that I have are things that I got from thrift stores, and some of the stuff that I did actually buy. So it's kind of on a budget. Some of the things are new, and some of the things are um, repurposed. But I thought it was a good time, and right now I'm working from home, so I'm just really trying to you know, deal with the socialization aspect and um, not being able to go to work and stuff. So um, I thought this would be a good time for me to, you know, refresh my home and do some stuff after after I get off work, which I still have to work a seven and a half hour day, but I'm just doing it at home. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the items that I purchased and then at the end, I'm going to show you the reveal of the bathroom. So let's get started. This is where it actually started. I found these beautiful curtains. They are um, a beautiful, like a light pink. And I purchased these from Gabe's. And if you can see, they were four, oh, that's backwards. They were $14.99. And I love them because they are kind of like a moth color. And um, you actually get two panels in here. And as you can see, they are extra long. They are 96 inches. And for two, you can't beat that. And they are actually pretty sheer. They're, probably, they're pretty sheer. So I'm actually going to put these up and use these as shower curtains. Then I also found these beautiful towels. So the color scheme is going to be like this mauve as well as the gray. Let me say, y'all got to excuse my nails, but I, you know. There ain't no nail salons open, so I'm um, gonna have to go old school and go back to the Lee Press on nails. I guess I just aged myself because y'all probably don't even know what Lee Press on nails are, but I'm gonna take them off and get me some press on nails. So the color scheme of the bathroom is gonna be pink and gray. So I have these towels. Isn't that gonna be beautiful together? So I got two of the towels and I purchased these at Burlington and they were $6.99 a piece. And they are the, um, I've never had anything from her collection, but they're the Eva Langoria home. And I love them because you can see they have this nice little detail on the end and the detail is gray. So I thought that was perfect. So I got two of those and then I just got two of the small towels and I got these from Ross for $3.99. Also from Ross, I got these clips. I love using these clips right here. I love to put them on my towels. I think they make really, really pretty decor on your towels. And these were $6.99. In addition to that, I went to Gabe's. And I don't know if you guys have a Gabe's where you are, but you can. it's kind of like a, a little cheaper than Ross, but they have some really, really nice stuff there. So I got this set of six gray washcloths. And they were only... $3.99. So I'll roll these up and put them on a tray or something like that. In addition to that, I bought this beautiful clock. Isn't that cute? And I got this from Burlington and it was only $5.99. So I will keep a I keep a shelf in there in the bathroom and I'll put this on the shelf because I think that people like to know what time it is when they go into the bathroom. Now, here in Northern Virginia, um, Bed Bath & Beyond is going out of business. We have one that's going out of business, 
and I got this probably about three or four weeks ago before all of this um, COVID stuff came up. But everything in the store is like 70 per six, I mean 50% off. So I wanted to get some new rods, like the towel hanging rods. And um, in the basement, it was like the builder grade. It wasn't too bad. They were silver and gold, but they it was just time to get something different. And I really wanted this silk disputer. So I got that. And as you can see, the original price of it was $34.99. The store was going out of business. They were $10.99, and then they were 50% off of that. So I got all of the accessories that go with this. And you know, they're Kohler. And you know, Kohler is not a cheap product. So I got that, and I thought I was going to have a wardrobe malfunction. So I got all of that, and um, I'm looking forward to that. And then I found this at the thrift store. And I thought this was really, really cute. Let me open it up. It is a tissue holder for the wall. And look at this. Isn't it cute? It's like a double. So you put tissue on this side and tissue on this side. And this part comes off and you just put it on the wall. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I have some of that um, silver spray paint, the same color of every, as everything else. So I'm going to spray paint this so that um, everything matches. Okay, friends, now that that is done, I am gonna show you some pictures of the before and then we will get into the after. Now everyone knows I love my wallpaper and this is the Sure Strip wallpaper. I took some down in my haul and it literally came out, came down with no damages to the wall. Now initially I had planned to use these beautiful pink curtains um, by the shower door, but I didn't like the way they look. So I decided to use these beautiful gray curtains that I also purchased from Gabe's. They were $5.99 a panel. I normally get mine extra long and I love the way they turned out. Now when I am using regular curtains in my bathroom, I like to use this tension rod that I bought from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I like to use it because the grommets slide directly across from them when you need to actually open up the curtain. Now another thing I love to use in my bathroom is these curtain tie backs that you get from Ross for I believe like $6.99. I just think they look so elegant and they stay put and they have all different designs and I just love the way they look around my towels. Now, I got super lucky when I found this light fixture at the thrift store, and could you believe that it was brand new, and it was just $7.99. I found it at Lowe's for $89. I couldn't believe it. So, my favorite element in this bathroom is definitely this beautiful big artwork that I found at the at-home store. Now, I hope you guys were able to get some great finds when they had their 90% off sale for their wall decor. The big one was $90 and the small one was $60. So together I paid less than $15, but because of course I asked for my military discount, but together at regular price, they would have been $160. So I think that was a great deal.
Now, if you got an opportunity to watch my last thrift haul video, you will recall that I purchased from the thrift store this doggy gate, which I paid $6.99. I just took it apart and look at the beautiful sculpture that it turned out to be on my sidewall. I absolutely love it. Can you believe that this is a pet gate? Now I purchased this beautiful shelf from Kirkland's a couple of years ago and I just cannot take it down. I had I planned on using something else in this space, but I love the storage and how I'm able to just arrange things on it and it literally fits perfectly above my toilet. Okay, friends, well, that concludes this video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting it together, and I think that it just looks so much brighter than it did. If this is your first time stopping by, I would love for you to become part of the Therapeutic family. And for my other subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. Please leave comments and let me know if there is anything in this video that you would change or what is your favorite part of the video i love reading everyone's comments all right guys stay safe stay healthy and i will see you in the next video